Welcome back to another taste test. I have with me Feastables. So I'm going to do a Feastables taste test. <clears throat> and so let's see these ones. Well, the packaging is really weird. So this one is Feastable Snack Bar. Uh, this one is the Peanut Butter Chocolate. Smells peanut butter and chocolatey. That's supposed to be... Okay, that, that tastes flat. You get the peanut butter, you get the cho- What kind of chocolate flavor is that? <clears throat> yeah. Not for me. Sorry. That chocolate flavor is horrible. Like, what kind of chocolate flavor was that? Can't really describe it, but see, I'm the... Tart and cheap. Okay, let's go with dark chocolate from the Feastable Snack Bar. Oh, I have a terrible aftertaste. So it looks like this. Why does it taste like a terrible version of the Atkins diet? It's very dry, very gritty, same terrible taste in chocolate as my hair is just doing a weird floop. I'm not looking forward to this because the chocolate seems to be the worst part of these chocolate bars. So this is Feastable, this is chocolate. Why do they all look the same? This one has pecans in it. If not, it tastes like it has pecans in it. Okay, if you ignore the chocolate part, this kind of tastes like Fruit Loops. Okay, Mr. Beast, Beastables uh, Peanut Butter Crunch. Okay. So let's get this one open. Like these have the worst way of opening them sometimes. Well, I accidentally apparently melted this. So that's the weirdest looking puff corn. It's really tiny and mill. Uh, that is a shit ton of chocolate for this tiny ass bar. 13 grams of this tiny thing. That just tastes like chocolate syrup. You know that generic terrible chocolate syrup? that nobody likes from the dollar store. That's what it tastes like. I already thought I was not going to have fun with these things, but <laughs> I'm not having fun with these. I've had worse chocolate, as you guys have seen. 
but um, these are pretty much terrible. Oh wow, he 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 just started trying to use uh, t grams and stuff like that. This. So. There's two from Mr. Beast packaging. This one uses a different qualifying thing that doesn't tell you anything compared to this one, which tells you the normal nutritional facts. So, uh, I'm feeling like I'm risking things with this one. So, let's go with Mr. Beast's Sea Salt chocolate. Okay, so it's dark and this says devour. Oh, and it has that tiny ass thing here, which makes no sense. Okay, so let's try. Also, why is it upside down? This doesn't feel like quality control. That is cheap. That is tart. Okay, so it does not say anything about what. Okay, so let's see. Where is it from? This doesn't give me too much information, that's great. But, okay, so cane sugar, organic cocoa powder, 37%. Didn't give you a percentage on the cane sugar? Cocoa butter. Oh, that's why it's terrible. It's just cocoa and cocoa butter with cane sugar, and it doesn't look... Does that look mixed in very well? No, that does not. I've done a better job at getting my things to be mixed better than that. And I'm not even a good chocolate here. Okay, so this is the original. That one didn't taste too salty. That didn't taste like anything except for poorly made chocolate. Dark chocolate, that. Which, if you're going to have dark chocolate, you should label it as dark chocolate versus milk chocolate. But you're what you're expecting. Again, it looks like dark chocolate. It's upside down. Not good quality control. That is sweeter than the other one, but it tastes the same. If that makes any sense. It tastes like just like somebody pouring more sugar in this. Which considering that it's 26 things of sugar. 26%. So yeah. So there is at least. At. Let's see. 27 grams of sugar in this. That's about as much sugar I have put in my apple cookies. And I get like that much. Key one. Key one crunch. Now, this is going to be interesting. I've eaten key one. I like key one. Uh, what did it do? Why is it white? Like, I don't think that's how it's supposed to look. Oh, no, that that's not good. That, that's not good at all.
That is very bitter. That tastes burnt. Who the hell is eating this? And it's also, again, dark chocolate that's not labeled as dark. Well, finally, milk chocolate. There is so much sugar in these things that it's like horrible. That is the darkest milk chocolate I've ever seen. Reptar had more expensive tasting chocolate. This doesn't taste like any of the organically or nut. It says organic all over this thing. I've had an organic chocolate. I've had a bunch of different types. This tastes like the chocolate that you pay the lowest denominator for. It does not feel ethically sourced. doesn't taste like anything that's good. It tastes like somebody who did something terrible. And it's apparently it's a product of Peru that does not taste like Peruvian chocolate. Peru people usually have more ethics in their skill of this. So I'm guessing Mr. Beast just has a bunch of randomly poor people just making the chocolate without knowing how to make chocolate. Because that, 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 that's terrible. Those cost more than these. And these were 110% better. A lot better sour, a lot better sugar, a lot better everything. I think I'm going to throw up. Bye.